I think it's important that artists have an opportunity outside of just playlists and hoping that their music gets streamed to get opportunities. I think brand opportunities are now the new thing to have. Mm -hmm. um, and it's actually a part of the DNA of an artist. Like, who's supporting you? What brands are behind you? Where's your music being placed? That's how people are finding it. And I look at the NBA like the new MTV. Mm -hmm. Like, I've, I talk about that a lot. The NBA like the new MTV, so they're not yeah. just basketball. They're not basketball players. Okay. You see, it, it, it all starts when they walk down the hallway. People are looking what they're wearing. Right. Yeah. right? It's, it's like they, this is the headphones is what they're wearing. Mm -hmm. Then you're looking at the players posting the videos. LeBron broke T. Grizzly. Yeah. Mm. Like, the, 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 that's what MTV did. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just the music. You know, it was the commentary. It mm -hmm. was the clothing. It was obviously the music, but it was the combination of... Of those <laughs> things, and I think that's um, what the NBA has. What's good? It's Timeless Rod with TR Mentality, man. Before we get into the video, make sure y'all own y'all own shit. Let's get into the intro. <laughs> In this clip, we got Steve Stout talking about why building a brand is so important. And man, at this point, bro, this is something that should just go without saying, you know, especially on this channel. Building a brand is so important, and I talk about this all the time in my videos and everything like that. As an upcoming, especially independent artist, you have to build a brand. Now, one of the big things that come from that, we got YouTube nowadays where we can make these videos for free. We could literally sit in our crib, record any type of video we want. We find a niche or anything where we spread in more of our personality out there, and we can put it on YouTube for free. It takes five seconds. And in these videos, when you're providing some sort of value and you're being yourself in these videos, people buy into that, which gives something to go along with the music. So like if you're watching these videos, you know, you might gain some inspiration. You might gain some knowledge. You might get some motivation. And being 100% yourself is pushing your brand even further because like I said, people buy into that. When they feel like they can relate to you or they feel like you providing some sort of value to make them keep coming back to the videos and watching and subscribing, it adds to that element of why am I fucking with this guy? Because we always talk about music and it's like, you know, why as an upcoming artist, why would somebody take the time out of their day to listen to your music? You know, there's so many people who make music and put music out every single day that it's like, why would they take the... They're not listening to everybody. I saw on Spotify that it's 60,000 tracks uploaded every single day onto Spotify. Now, people not going and listening to 60,000 different songs every single day. Why would you stand out? Why would I listen to your music over this person's music? Because at the end of the day... The song literally just has a title and it has your name next to it. So if they don't know the name and it's not familiar, why would they listen? So that comes back to the brand. Give them more with the music. Give them something else to buy into that. That way they feel like, yo, I know this guy and I like what he be talking about. You know, let me go ahead and check out his music. Let me see how it sounds. And then they check out the music. And if they're a fan of the music, then they're going to buy in even more. And I always speak on this, man. YouTube got one of the craziest algorithms. Literally, if you find your niche and you go ahead and lock in and you drop videos on here consistently, YouTube is gonna make sure they put your videos in the right place to get found because literally this platform is set up on a win-win basis literally you put out these videos that people want to watch and they're going to tune in and they watch it fully through and they're watching a lot of these videos back to back to back to back and you're constantly putting out content that people can constantly see consistently youtube will reward you because for you putting out this consistent content that people want to see it's keeping people on their platform, which is generating more money for them. So in return, they reward you with pushing your videos and putting it in the right places and putting it high in the search engine for people to be able to find you because you've proven to them that people want to stick around and watch your videos. If you're an upcoming artist, bro, why you ain't making no YouTube videos right now? Let me know down in the comment section, man. That's a serious question I have, man. Start building your brand today. Do something to go along with the music. Do something that people want to see aside from the music. Give people another reason to buy into you as an artist you know be yourself talk about things that you want to talk about and talk about things that you relate to and it's going to be somebody out there that relate to it but hey man i'm gonna leave that video on that note man y'all go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section how y'all feel about this video man and if y'all agree with what i'm talking about go ahead and leave a like for your boy and if you're new to the channel Go ahead and subscribe, and I'm out of here, man. Shorty said I'm selfish, only care about myself. I've been gone on the road so long. Baby, maybe I'm toxic. If you feel some way, then we can...